All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I'm here today with some more Dragon Ball Legends news and scans here on the channel. Big shout outs to Spy True for the leaks here. We have the official drop of some visuals, which is so nice to see. And may I say, I'm very surprised and excited that the Bardock will actually be the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie Bardock. Now, we got Nappa recently, so it wasn't, you know, too far fetched or anything. But it didn't really say, like, oh, this is from the Broly movie in terms of the translations from yesterday and the actual just, like, info from uh, the homie Ryo Kucha. But uh, this one right here is showing that it is officially, you know, you can visually see it. This is the version of uh, Bardock from the Broly movie uh, at the very beginning where he's wearing the uh, blue sort of, like, colored, I guess, spandex and everything. And he's got more of the yellow armor instead of the traditional green armor. He has no headband, so... This is the more, uh, I guess if you want to call it the official canonized version. Looks like he's going to be uh, using the Riot Javelin. I'm pretty sure he did use that in the movie. It was pretty much a recreation of the scene uh, from the Bardock father of Goku, but in uh, a different way, I guess, or whatever. But he looks great. He looks fantastic. The artwork is just phenomenal. Absolutely on point. Um, I like the background art. It's got uh, Bardock and Jine, where, you know, they got, you know, Kid Kakara, little Goku. They're about to send him off to Earth because uh, they know that they're about to get blown up. <laughs> but, um, yes, this will be the one that um, specializes in defense. And then we have, of course, my boy Tapion, who looks fantastic. Uh, by the way, we don't know the official colors of these guys yet, the typing yet. Uh, this will be uh, a UST, most likely, within the next, like, you know, probably three, four weeks. I think about three weeks from now it's usually when a rejump uh you know kind of has that early reveal but tapion looks great i love the um you know iconic stance him playing the ocarina with uh i don't know if you can really see it but i i feel like that's the west city or whatever in the back or whatever city it is that they were in in the background um i don't know if there's harutagon i assume there's going to be a little uh probably image of like harutagon probably the uh very first form of it with like the skull and everything uh you know because he was like one of the halves and the other half was in Minosha. But uh, he looks awesome. The only thing that uh, Goresh did state about the translations on it that's new is that he specializes in, uh, of course, like, you know, the debuffs as well as green cards, which I think will be the debuffing or whatever. I don't know. It's 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 all in the air at this point. Like I said, we'll wait until the actual, you know, units drop with the information. That way we can just get a better, uh, you know, look at it. Uh, at this moment in time, it's just nice to see the visuals and get that official confirmation. These characters, I mean, in terms of the art, they look beautiful. I know they're going to look badass. We'll probably get a little, um, you know, reveal or hint on their Twitter and everything. So I'll be sure to update you guys whenever those drop. So, again, go check out Goresh down below because uh, he's the freaking homie Goresh. And uh, leave a like on this video, share it, subscribe here on the channel for more information regarding all Dragon Ball news. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to ring that notification bell. Peace, guys. Love y'all.